Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. The Biden administration is withholding critical intel and so that Israel does not go into Rafa. This is being reported in uh, the Washington Post, which is not a far right newspaper organization. And it's also being reported on the Marie Bartiroma show. She had an interview with Senator Lee, uh, a Republican senator from the great state of uh, Utah, where this was revealed that the Biden administration is withholding this critical intel that can pinpoint where these Hamas leaders are, but will not give it to Israel so long as they go, if they go into Rafa, then they're not going to give them this inf intel. They're also holding American citizens. So why in the world would the Biden administration refuse to give this intel to bring this war to a close? Let's snuff them out, get it over with, so Israel can return to taking care of his people instead of fighting against the Hamas terrorists who murdered over 1,200 Israelis. But I'll let you listen to this interview and it's, it's just disturbing how our government has completely capitulated with one of the greatest allies we've ever had, which is the nation of Israel. President's decision to withhold U.S. military aid to Israel if the Israeli Defense Forces attack Hamas terrorists in Rafah. Swift condemnation across the board from both sides of the aisle on Capitol Hill, with House Republicans pushing for legislation to force the president's hand to deliver on America's promise to provide weapons to the U.S.'s closest ally in the Middle East. Over in the Senate, Pennsylvania Democrat Senator John Fetterman says Israel is fighting for its survival. After Hamas killed 1,200 people in Israel in an unprovoked terrorist attack on October 7th. When you have the kind of enemy uh, that has no conditions or you know, morals or decency or, or any kind of a, a bottom. And I don't think we should have any kind of conditions. And let's never forget, this is exactly how Hamas designed this. The, those are cowards and rapists and they hide behind civilians. Joining me now in the Sunday Morning Futures exclusive is Utah Senator Mike Lee, the ranking member of the Senate Joint Economic Committee. Senator, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. I want to start off with your reaction to President Biden threatening he's not going to send those shipments of weapons to Israel if they go into Rafah. Yeah, uh, Maria, this is just reprehensible. You, you're, you're taking a group of people who have been victimized. Remember that there were thousands of people killed innocently, uh, the, the, the innocent people who were killed in Israel, men, women, children, even babies. And they're the victims. Now they're being re-victimized by, of all people, the United States of America. Congress, moreover, has recently passed an aid package, an aid package I voted against because, uh, among other things, it spent too much on, on other countries and because I was concerned that the aid wouldn't actually make it to Israel. Well, lo and behold, uh, a lot of it's not going to Israel, or at least it's being conditioned on Israel not being able to defend itself. This is inexcusable. And I, I really don't know how Joe Biden can survive this. I think this is yet another indication that it's time for change at the White House. You know, I, I was speaking with some uh, voters last night and, you know, they felt that this was a red line. They couldn't believe it. They, th this was like the final straw. These were Democrats and independents. Do you think this is going to affect how people see the upcoming election? Without question, it will. And it certainly should. Look, nothing calls out more for Donald Trump returning to the White House as the 47th president of the United States, quite like blunders like this one. And this one is a doozy. It's colossal because it demonstrates to the American people and it demonstrates to people all over the world uh, that we've got flawed, we've got inadequate, we've got ineffective, feckless leadership in the White House. That has to come to an end. And uh, that'll happen, I believe, when Americans go to the polls this November. Senator, let me just look at this one story. I've got to get your take from the Washington Post. The Washington Post apparently got this leak from, I, I assume, the Biden administration. But it says that the administration is working urgently to stave off a full-scale Israeli uh, invasion of Rafah. And they claim that they will give Israel valuable, Elizabeth, quote, unquote, valuable assistance if it holds back including the U.S. will share sensitive intelligence 
to Israel to help the Israeli military pinpoint the location of the Hamas leaders to find them in hidden tunnels. So in other words, the Washington Post is writing that Israel, uh, uh, that, that the United States will share information about where the terrorists are with Israel if they don't go into Rafah. Are you kidding me? In other words, the U.S. knows where the terrorists are. They're not going to share the information with Israel unless Israel doesn't go into Rafah. This story is outrageous in the Washington Post. The story is outrageous. The facts underlying it are tragic. Uh, look, this is extortion. Uh, we're, we're saying we can help you locate your victims uh, who have been kept uh, under just horrible, horrific conditions, the worst anyone can imagine. We will share that information with you if and only if you choose not to defend yourselves. We are re-victimizing the victim nation here. This is terrible. And uh, again, yet another reason why Joe Biden is unfit for office and Americans need to elect Donald Trump. Let's talk about the bill that you are pushing, the SAVE Act, and I want to get your take on a, a free and fair election come November. Tell us about the SAVE Act. Look, in our country, it's always been uh, one citizen, one vote. And under federal law, only citizens are allowed to vote in federal elections. Here's the tragic thing. Uh, Maria, uh, over the last three, three and a half years since the Biden administration has been in power. OK, that, that is enough of that. That's one of the stuff I don't want to talk about right now. Uh, that's basically talking about this new act they got coming out, which is not relevant to the story I'm talking about. And there you have it. The Biden administration is withholding the critical in intelligence that they need, that Israel needs in order to defend itself and to take out the terrorists hiding underneath the tunnels in Gaza, as well as Rafa. There's no doubt in my mind that the United States has the ability to see and hear where these terrorists are. They just not sharing it because they want to control what is going on in the Gaza Strip as well as in Rafa. They want Israel to come up under their control and pretty much capitulate turn and, and hide and run like cowards like we did in Afghanistan when we left. They want to humiliate uh, Israel because they're hoping that those Muslims in the United States will vote for them in November. This is a political decision. This is not a military decision. This is the, the military industrial, not the military industrial complex. These are the civilian leadership that we have that are trying to win an election. And the only way they feel they can win this election, that if they try to control the narrative coming out of the Gaza Strip. That's what this is all about. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you can like this video, please hit that like button. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to The Retired Bed Show. And once again, God bless you all. Stay safe.